The body mass index is a measure of weight as it relates to height. And the body mass index, called the BMI, is how we define obesity now. The body mass index is related to a person's total body fat. And it's a good measure, but it's not perfect. It may overestimate total body fat in people who have a muscular build. And it may underestimate total body fat in older people and others who've lost muscle mass. The body mass index is the number that we get by multiplying a person's weight in pounds by 703 and then dividing that number by the person's height in inches squared, meaning the height in inches multiplied by itself. You don't actually have to go through the body mass index calculation yourself. You can go online to find a calculator that will easily figure your body mass index. And I've put the website address uh, for the calculator on the end title. So we classify a person's weight according to his or her BMI. A BMI of between 18.5 and 24.9 is defined as normal weight. A body mass index of less than 18.5 is defined as underweight. If the body mass index is between 25 and 29.9, then the person is considered overweight. Obesity means a body mass index of 30 or greater, and there are three BMI classes for obesity. Um, people whose body mass index fall in the overweight or obese classes are at increased risk of diabetes, hypertension, and cardiovascular disease. But it's important to remember that tobacco is the number one cause of preventable death. So regardless of your weight, it's critical to stop smoking if you smoke. Now, being obese, meaning a BMI of 30 or greater, is associated with excess mortality. But being overweight, meaning a BMI of 25 to 29.9, is not associated with excess mortality. If you are overweight or obese by these definitions, the first thing to do is to make sure you don't have diabetes, get a fasting blood sugar and perhaps a hemoglobin A1C, make sure you don't have high blood pressure, get some blood pressure measurements at the drugstore or the doctor's office, and be sure you don't have high cholesterol, get a fasting lipid profile. It's important to make sure that you get treatment if you have diabetes, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol. If your body mass index is too high, I'll go over some diet and exercise tips in upcoming visits. Well, that's it for this visit. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.